Intermittent rain for three days. Heavily now, as I write from high above the view. Misty. The sky peaked. Pale gray blue. Smooth as new tissue paper. Statuesque pines nearest the house lean in. Crowns nod at the roof. Few winding roads and birds flicking droplets from feathers. A scabby loyal watch keeps the long driveway descending. Singular horned brethren miles around part of the watercolor sky, its inky bleeding quarter of expanse. It seems to me a sea waits below a far dark cliff curvature of pines to the west, a fissured bristling gate, the lip of an immense basin, and in it, I imagine, froth's ways roll upon the other perpetually. On dry sunny summer days, I feel limited in a woody basket, grappling with enormous reeds so that I do not fall through the bottom. Though on rainy days the cage opens, a downpour filling the faraway crater appearing into being, her only evidence the mist. I imagine her waves surge uncounted and untamed, her fathoms an unfounded treasure. Her protectors, a battalion many times an undulation of the Great Wall of China, trustworthy eunuchs, on her way to her faithful king. Lightning and thunder now, a spectacle in the big window, one bolt immured in my camera. Mists untangle thick spirits from branches and climb creeping up and slowly up, blurring the crest. Gentle monks robed in smoke, genuflecting west. They rise over to the sea, not the sea, leaving to wait for her. A tiny moth-like bird tosses in the squall like a paper skiff carried in the runoff. How far till she finds her nest? The mild priests approach the other side. Precipitation is the lucky element, ice or water. Thank God for it.